since it stopped raining on my way back over, I thought I'd give you a tour of my heating system additionally. So, this little bunker thingy was built last year to house my coal. There's coal. I mean, that's about two or three tons of coal right there. That's a place to put tarp over it. So, this furnace is coal slant wood. There's all my wood. These birch pieces are about four feet long. And all the birch ready to go into the coal bin thingy. Or, I mean, into the furnace. So, here's the coal wood burner. But, here's the problem I had. I didn't like getting up at 5 a.m. Opening this stupid door right here. I had in work clothes at this point. Open this dumb thing. <clears throat> Terrible. Then throw in, you know, four or five foot logs into this thing. It's roaring fire. The smoke comes out. Gets you all dirty. It's gross. It's dirty. Mm, looking in there now. Ugh. So, I didn't like doing that. And then you gotta go shovel coal in. Then jump in the car. Shovel the coal in from this little thing right there. Right there. And go to work and you smell like coal. It stinks. And it's awful. So, I close the door now. It's a pain in the butt. So, anyway. That's the story with that. And that unit right there. It's a giant thing. It can heat 20,000 square feet. So it has a PEX pipe, 150 foot piece of PEX pipe running in the back of it. Shit, big stack, insulated stack. The PEX pipe runs underground right here and comes out. You'll see it right there. Runs through all the way over to the garage. And then it has a utility door over there you can see. But it, ha it exploded this last year on New Year's Day somewhere down there and I said forget it I'm not doing it anymore I'll pay the money for the big propane so right here where I'm standing the beginning of the luge run so it's a little overgrown right now but it'll be perfect this one so we go down here it makes a hard bank so bank left come around to the right go down to the right of those logs and you can see the jump at the bottom down there and it goes way down into where the tall trees are. It keeps on going. Ooh, more raspberries that are really good and ready. Mmm. These are good. Mmm. Really sweet. Mmm. So, that's the whole thing. And then there's the river. Good view of the river from right here. The property goes almost down close to the river, down to the Old Valdez Trail. Ten acres going straight down a long rectangle as you're looking down the hill here. That's it.